quadratic functions are very important and common. They have graphs which are parabolas. One of the skills we will learn is how to find the vertex of the parabola for a given quadratic function. This will come in handy when using these functions to find the maximum or minimum values for real world situations. So in this section, we will cover quadratic functions and their graphs and look at the examples involving maximization and minimization. A quadratic function f or a second degree polynomial function of one variable x is any function that can be written in the form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not zero. Next, I'm gonna show you how to rewrite the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c into the form of a times x minus h squared plus k, where h and k is the vertex, the coordinate hk is the vertex of the parabola graph, and the relationship of h and k in terms of a, b, and c by using the perfect square. For ax squared plus bx plus c, we're gonna work on writing the ax squared and bx next to each other and then make some room and add it by c. Next, factor a out of the first two terms to get a times quantity of x squared plus b over a times x. And then make some room to add the third term to make a perfect square and then plus c. Now we're gonna look at the appropriate third term here by using the perfect square technique or the concept. So as you recall, the first term plus the last term square, use the FOIA technique to get the first term square plus twice times the first term, the last term plus the first term square. So if you want to make this as a perfect square, that means we're gonna look for the appropriate number. Let's say this is the y square. If this is a y square, that means b over a times x is twice of the first term times the last term. So 2xy is b over a times x. Therefore, the y value is b over 2a. If y is b over 2a, that means y square is b square over four times a square. Now we're gonna work on making the terms into the perfect square form that give us a times x square plus b over a times x plus the y square, which is the b square over four a square. And then once we add this term, so we're gonna subtract with the same quantity that we add into the expression. So to get this as subtracted by b square over 4a square, and keep in mind, the whole parenthesis multiplied by a. So that means we're gonna have to subtract it out by this quantity multiplied by a. Let's use different color, same here. And simplify it. This returns a times x plus b over 2a quantity square plus the quantity c minus b square over 4a. And then you can rewrite this in the form of a times x minus negative b over 2a, the quantity square, plus four times a times c minus b squared divided by 4a. And this is in the form of a times x minus h squared plus k. Next, we're 